She's gone back to him, hasn't she? <laughs> Beverly's gone back to Jerome. Yeah, the two-timing tramp that smells like he's been smuggling onions under his arm for the past two weeks. Can't believe it. Is she stupid or something? After everything he's done to her, she's gone back. I was like, you silly cow. She told me the other day, I was like, Beverly, have you lost your bleeding marbles? Do you need to go and see a bleeding doctor? Silly. She went, oh, he promised he'll never cheat on me again. I went, didn't you say that the first time when you caught him with the polar bird bent over the sideboard? She went, I know, but I said, and what about the second time with the pensioner? She goes, he told me she was tying his shoelace. I went, what, with his pants around his ankles? Why'd she take her teeth out then? There was the girl from Greg's that Dorothy told me about. He tried it on with her. Dorothy walked in on him doing doggy on the bleeding steak bakes. I eat them steak bakes. He's had the girl from the meat counter in Tesco. He's had two girls from the Lidl. I'm sure he's doing it for discounted food. No, I love Beverly to bits, but sometimes I just want to fucking shake him and say, wake up, he's not going to change ever. But it's not my life, is it? I can't tell her what to do. I can only give my opinions. And anyway, she's still my mate. So I said to her, look, it's your choice at the end of the day. But if he does it again, Beverly, I can't listen to it again. It's every bleeding time and I'm wiping down the tears and then I have to watch you walking down the bleeding street with him again. I can't do it no more. She goes, I understand, Brenda. We hug it out and she goes. So anyway, the next day I'm cleaning the windows, aren't I? And I see him. I thought, right, here's my chance. I went, Jerome, Jerome. He's looking at me all like, what does she want? I said, I've got something for Beverly here. Will you come and get it and give it to her for me? He went, oh yeah, Brenda and Will. I went, all oh, right, it won't be a sec. I'll open the door for you. So he comes in, I lock the door and I pin him. I says, right you, you dirty toe rag. So you fuck over my mate one more time and I swear to God, I'll make your life not worth living. Do you understand me? He went, what, what? I said, you heard. She, she got back with you. You might have fooled her, but you don't fool me. So listen, I'll be civil. For her sake, you better sleep with one eye open. But I swear to God, you put one more foot wrong and I'll get our Donny onto you. And I don't think I won't. He'll break every bone in your bleeding body. I'll burn you in your bed. Donny, that's my brother. He's a bleeding psycho. He's been in and out of prison more times than I don't know what. And Jerome is shit scared of him. I would be too if I was Jerome. Because he knows he'll knock him out. I'm the rest. You'll be looking over your shoulder for the rest of your life. So then I said, have I made myself clear? And he went, yeah, Brenda, yeah. And I went, good. Right, we'll just carry on as normal, shall we? I think it's safe to say that me and Jerome have come to an understanding. Haven't we, Jerome? Yeah, Brenda, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> now get out of my house, you stink.